Good morning, everybody. This is Elba Colon coming to you from Columbus, Ohio, with special guest Christian House. He'll be coming here on board. He is a jazz violinist who is who is like known throughout the world. So this is going to be amazing. One moment here while I get him on board. Okay, here he is. I got him on board. He's adding, so let's give him a minute. This is so exciting. We're going to talk about gratitude on how it is connected to music, the sound of gratitude. Hey! What up? What up? <laughs> Welcome on board. It's good to have you, Christian. Everybody, this is Elba Colon coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. Welcome to Gratitude Friday. Today is August 10th, 2018. I'm a transformational mindset coach, podcaster, facilitator. And today's special guest is Christian House, a jazz violinist composer. And let's hear a little music of him. It's my favorite song. <laughs> you're gonna play he, some. You're playing some music for me. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's my little intro music. <laughs> oh, nice, 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 nice. Good to see you. Um, well, Christian, I'm really super excited to have you on board. It's amazing how like you and your mom and your sister and brother like all look the same and sound the same and I, I i this is one of the things i say about the house family is that anytime someone's making a comment you guys have this um habit of going like yeah 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 <laughs> and i think you guys get that from your mom yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> cool. so i'm really super excited um christian to have you on board because one of the things is i've actually seen you perform i've seen you perform over downtown at one of the major theaters that fit a thousand people in there and i saw you a couple of years ago playing jazz music jazz music and one of the things about your music especially when it comes to the violin is that it's not um common to have someone to play jazz with that and your music literally is captivating so i am got a website post for people to watch that. And I look forward for you to play a little bit to captivate the world with your music, with the sound of gratitude. So I'm done. I'm the platform. You're here to share your story on gratitude and what it means to us, like what it means to you and why music. Because I know that violin plays a major role in your life. Mm. Well, one thing I would share is uh, my uh, a mentor of mine. His name is Mark Ann Thacker, and uh, he's a conductor of the Baltimore Chamber Orchestra. Uh, and uh, he worked with me when I was really young. And uh, I've talked to him a lot about, you know, beauty in music and beauty in art. And he <clears throat> he's written some books on it. And I love his idea about how art can be taken in. So if you think about, if you go to a uh, art exhibit, like to look at paintings in a museum or something, <clears throat> one of the things he talks about is this, this kind of recommendation that when you look at a painting, you should stand just far enough away from the painting so that the only thing in your field of vision is the painting. Um, <clears throat> so you shouldn't see the wall and you shouldn't be so close that you're um, only seeing part of the picture. You should see like the whole picture and that's it. So you want to get as close to the painting as you can to just see that. And once you're looking at the painting, <clears throat> you should try to remove like your tendency to, to look for um, literal things in the painting. So if it's an apple, you don't want to think about like how necessarily like how an apple tastes or, um, <clears throat> You know, or if it's uh, if it's a picture of a landscape, you don't necessarily want to 
to to to just look at the landscape itself you you sort of want to try to remove the um the associations from your mind of like what are those those things that you're seeing so you see a house and you think house and you want to like let go of that and just see shapes and just see colors mm. and he says that that's like the best way to take in art you you see a, a painting and you just try to let the colors and the shapes wash over you um without having that that cognitive element get in the way that labeling element get in the way so i think that uh the same thing can be true of music that when you when you listen to music because what a lot of us do when we listen to music is, is we try to find things that are familiar to us and that we can you know relate to maybe it has a groove maybe it has a har a harmony that sounds really familiar um and what you what you can try to do is is listen to some different music or look at some different images because that'll shake you out of your comfort zone. <laughs> and you might be surprised at the feelings that that triggers for you. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to give you a, a, an example. I've got my violin here. We didn't talk about my bringing my violin, but I didn't know what I was going to say. So I was like, well, I might as well bring my violin. So, mm -hmm. um, so this would be like um, a really, sort of uh we'll just start with like a like a really simple sound maybe just like a couple notes Perhaps. so those those notes are pretty um simple and pretty easy to to um, to hear in a familiar capacity, like in a way that that, that sounds normal to people or, or, or regular to people. Um, and if I play something that's recurring, that sounds really familiar to people. So it should be pretty easy to listen to, but I want to I want to try to play something that might not be as familiar. I want to want to encourage if anybody's listening to um, to try to um, once you hear the music to try to then instead of trying to make it fit into something that you're used to or hear how it sounds familiar, I want to ask you to kind of let go of that. Try to let go of that and try to let the sounds wash over you in a way that is not really so so much like about thinking about it and making it fit but just allowing it to just hit you to watch mm. it. so um christian i already So for me, this exercise has been um, really uh, important in developing as an artist. And, you know, as an artist, sort of inhabit like two planes. One is trying to please people and give them what they're used to, kind of like a chef at McDonald's. You know, like if you go into a... a, a, a the, the home or the restaurant of like a chef, you know, that chef may want to really share something that's, that's really special with um, 
someone who comes to eat. But a lot, of, but that person who's coming to eat might say, "Hey, I just want to you know make me a quarter pounder with cheese, just like I get at McDonald's," mm-hmm. because that's that's what's familiar, and a lot of times people want what's familiar, not necessarily, and they're not necessarily open to hear something new. So this is kind of to me is like a an analogy for that. It's like we gravitate towards what's familiar to us when we're consuming a lot of things, when we're, we're opening ourselves to ideas, to art, to food. And it's a small way that you can kind of push yourself to expand and to be open. And then new feelings and new thoughts may come from that. So mm-hmm. as that relates to gratitude, I feel like being grateful or experiencing gratitude, there's a similar process. Like we wake up in the morning and we have a habitual way of interacting with the world or getting out of bed. Like I got out of bed this morning. I felt, you know, I had the same immediate thoughts that come to my mind every morning. (laughs) And um, (laughs) I think we want to, we want to try to open ourselves in one way we can do that is just expose ourselves to, to different music uh, or to different ideas. It doesn't have to be music, different food, different music, different ideas, different media. So I'm always going back and forth as an artist between giving people, because people will say, Oh, play that, that one song that has the groove that I love or play that cover. My brother is always telling me, you know, I should cover popular songs because that's what people love. And uh, of course, there's a there's a reason to do that. There's you know, there's there's um, there's reasons to try to meet people where they're at. But then also part of me as an artist is trying to push myself to hear new things, to discover new things as an artist. And sometimes that's that's in a conflict with what people want to (laughs) hear. Like that thing I just played for you a few minutes ago. That's not going to be a hit record. You know what I mean? Because it's it's too unfamiliar for people. But if people are willing to open themselves, <clears throat> then <clears throat> and let the sound or let new ideas or let new foods, new people, whatever it is, kind of wash over you, you'll be surprised that things open up for you. And I think if you if you try to um, do that in a in this gratitude space or in this space of of meditating on what am I grateful for? You could do that while you're listening to music <clears throat> or while, or just after you've been exposed to new ideas or new foods or new artwork, because there's something that might open up for us when we get, when we put ourselves in that realm where it's unfamiliar, we can't quite articulate what we're experiencing, what we're consuming, what we're being exposed to. Um, and so right in that moment may be a good time just to try to think about what am I grateful for? And that's a way to tap into maybe a a more unconscious level of knowledge in and of yourself and, and even feelings. So that's my deep thought for the day. That's a very, that's, I'm so, so, so glad you said that because, um, you're my 34th person I interview. And I always say this to every show that I never heard that someone said that. And actually, I'm so glad that you shared that because it's another form of way of act of gratitude. Because when I do my gratitude journal, I play music and the music I listen to on my Pandora channel is, uh, it's, uh, Italian name, Luke. Lurito Rivaldi. He's known for he's, he's known for the piano. You talking about so, Antonio Vivaldi? Uh, I thought it was Lurito. Uh, Lurito. Okay. L U. Okay. Well, anyways, I listen to him, and so of course you know how Pandora works. I'll get a lot of music following that, and um, every time I do my gratitude journal while I listen to that, it's true what you said. Um, it creates a lot of emotions, create ideas. And a lot of times I'm crying because the gratitude, this, the feeling of gratitude just overtakes me. So I'm so glad for anyone that's watching out there. Here's a great idea that he, um, Christian is just offering here. Like listen to music to <clears throat> while you're doing your gratitude journal. Um, that first sound that you play, oh, well, 
you didn't say that, but that's an idea, right? <laughs> that is an idea, and and, and 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 part of the idea is also to to listen to to different music than you're used to. You know, mm -hmm. to to expose yourself to to music that isn't so connected with what is familiar to you, and yeah. be open to that the uh, that that the unfamiliar with with regards to consuming any kind of art. So just because you don't understand it, your first reaction is going to be maybe to be like, I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to look at this. And my invitation to you or my challenge to you is sit with something you don't understand stop trying to understand it and try to allow it to wash over you. Mm -hmm. Yes. And when you said the word unfamiliar right away, the word magic came to my head. Remember the song from America? Magic. I know you know that song. <laughs> it sounds familiar. From America. Well, that first tone or first sound that you play, that just one Mm, literally took me to the taps. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. That it, makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, 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 I heard tap. I'm an army brat, so I, I used to hear that all the time. Um, so, yeah, thank you for this information you have given us here. You know what? I got a lot of comments here about the music you just play. And okay. people are, yeah. Yeah, you can't say in your end, but in my end, people are either like in gratitude, like, oh my gosh, I'm at work. I'm so glad I took this time to watch this and <laughs> to hear That's this great. music. That's I'm great. not I'm not kidding. It's the truth here. Um, so that came from Diane. Um, here it is. I got a mother who has a seventh month old baby, five month old baby. She's watching this and she's appreciating your music. And so as you were playing and I was seeing the comments and an idea came to my mind that maybe you might want to consider, you might want to get a little app out there with your music so people can meditate to that music. Oh, well, you can get, you can get my music on my YouTube channel. I mean, you, I've got so much music there. And in fact, that's, I mean, what I'm talking about as far as, you know, listening to something that maybe is a little unfamiliar. If you go to my YouTube channel, it's just Christian house tube. I have 50 tracks in a playlist called Metsy Skitsy. And, uh, and you can, they're kind of like the, the, what I played for you a little while ago, which was a free improvisation. And they're meant to be sort of unliteral. You know, they're meant to be, they're meant to be more, um, I guess, abstract. And so you can check it out. Just Christian House Tube is my YouTube channel. You can subscribe there. So you can put that on playlist and listen. You don't have to watch the videos and it'll just go through tons of my music that way. Well, I'm going to do that um, on tomorrow. I'm ready to do my gratitude journey today, but I will tomorrow morning. And I'm going to put Christian House to and listen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it really, it's honestly, but your music does literally is for me personally, is captivating. So I have one that you created a couple of years ago and I leave it in my car on my days where I feel frazzled or I'm sensing some sort of road rage. I'll play that <laughs> CD. <laughs> I'll play that CD to calm me down. That's but awesome. that's the power of you. Yeah, that's the power of your music that it has that effect. Oh, so thank you, Christian, for your time. I know you got a lot to do today. Um, I know that every year you come out around July, around the Jazz Fest. Um, I had an opportunity to see you at the Methodist Church over off Parson. And I saw one of the things I was appreciative to see, to experience what I saw with you and those young people. It's like you have this following of young people, like maybe they're mid 20s early 30s but they're like on fire for music mm. like the music that you play and um i saw the passion in those young people so i was really impressed with that with like they're just young people who just love music and mm. you're like the people piper and they're following wherever you go <laughs> that's really nice thank you yeah that's our annual event it's called the creative strings workshop and festival and we hold we hold that in central ohio and um yeah, we always do that the week of July 4th. So any Columbus people, you always want to look the week of July 4th 
look for Creative Strings Workshop and Festival. We do like 20 free concerts for the community, um, fam family friendly free concerts. And we try to mix it up. We try to really create special events every year uh, in one way or another. And we bring people from, I think we have people from nine or 10 countries this year who came to participate in the event. And the concert that you came to was at Church for All People. And um, we had over 70 people participating in the concert. So yeah, you're right. It's, it's, uh, that's that's what I do. I try to connect with other musicians and find a way to uh, inspire them. And uh, sometimes as as musicians, we can feel uh, that our what we're doing can feel lonely or we can feel like, you know, it doesn't matter or nobody's going to get what I'm trying to do or nobody cares and nobody's watching or nobody's listening or does it really make a difference. But I think it's 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 important for us to know that it does make a difference, whatever we're doing. I think it's, it's important to be grateful for whatever difference we make. So in my case, I might play a concert for one person or two people. And instead of being dejected about that, I should, I should try to, you know, um, I, tr I try to look at the positive. I try to be grateful for the chance to, to connect with people through my music and, and to center on like, what, why am I doing what I do? as an artist, you know, there's a lot of reasons, whatever we do, whatever people watching, whatever you do, wherever you work, sometimes it can feel like it's not, we're not sure how it's making a difference for anybody else or what it's actually doing for us. And I think it's really important to center on that, on, 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 on how it does make a difference for one, whether it's for one person, whether it's how it makes a difference for me every day, how I can, can move forward or enjoy what I do more every day or, or what, or what an impact it might just make on my family uh, or on one person who comes to a show. So, yeah. Sorry for well, I I'll, I'll tell you this, my experience of you with your music brings peace and serenity every time I listen to it. So Thank know you. that. Okay. Thank you. Every time has not failed. So we're going to wrap this up with three questions that I ask everyone that's being interviewed. So the first question is, what are you grateful for today and specifically why? Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm grateful I had, uh, had to get up in the morning to do this interview because it got me up and it got made me shave and I feel good for shaving. I put on a shirt. And I'm, and I'm actually, if I wouldn't have had this interview, I would probably never would have shaved, wouldn't have put on a nice shirt, wouldn't have like, you know, been doing this and this actually put me into a good headspace. So again, it kind of goes to what I was talking about because I was not really sure what to expect with this. And I was sort of feeling a little nervous about it. Like I didn't know what I was going to say or what it was going to be, if it was going to be any good, if anybody was going to watch, but now I'm doing it and I'm glad that I sort of took a chance and went out of my comfort zone. So I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for you pushing me to do this. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you for cleaning up for us, too. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I promise you, a hundred some, um, you know, people around the world, world will watch this. So thank you. We appreciate you. And here's the last question. So what I learned about gratitude is that gratitude uh, will link to our affirmations. So you know how people will practice daily affirmation. I'm joy and happy, I'm glad, I'm peace, I'm serenity. And what I discover about gratitude is that however, whatever blessing that you receive is something about you attract that blessing. So you are blessed for this opportunity for this interview. What's that affirm about who you are today? Why, why, what is, so, so you will say, well, El, because I am blank. Okay, I am relevant. Mm. I, I, I am meaningful. I am purposeful. How's that? Beautiful. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> so, yes, you are. Which of the three? Pick one of the three. Okay, I, I'm going to go with relevant because it was the first one. Okay. I am now, relevant. Go. Yes, you are. <laughs> So again, thank you again. Thank you. That wraps thank up you. our show. And uh, thank you again, Christian. When it, uh, w 
I'll post everything so people can come out to your YouTube channel and be captivated by your music. Everybody, please like and share this. Everyone get to experience what gratitude actually feels like through music. And the world will not know if you do not share. So share, share, share this around the world. And Christian House, thank you. I am so in gratitude to have you on board. Let's give the world a kiss. Uh-huh. Did oh, you want to say something? Oh, I just wanted to say thank you, Elba. And hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Oh, I love you, Mom, if you're watching, because you told me that my mom watches these, so. She does. She'll she'll get on board. <laughs> <laughs> I'll text her. Diane, I got Christian online. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll see you. Thanks, Elba. I love you. And let's give the world a kiss on the count of three. Ready? Okay. One, two.